Welcome to another edition of Cancer Facts with Dr. B. Today's question is, which treatment is better, surgery or cyberknife for unfavorable intermediate risk prostate cancer? To answer this question, we're going to look at case number three. This is a 70-year-old male with a PSA of 19 nanograms per milliliter. He has a grade group of 3 in 9 of 12 cores from his biopsy, and his disease can be felt in both lobes of the prostate on digital rectal exam. His CT scan and bone scan are negative, and he therefore is stage T2C N0 M0. We are going to apply the care about me principle to determine which treatment is better between CyberKnife and surgery. We will first assign him to a risk category based on the information that we have before surgery is performed called the clinical stage. He has unfavorable intermediate risk disease based on the NCCN guidelines. He has stage 3B disease based on the new proposed star cap staging system. He has a CAPRA score of 7. He would be in area 5 or 6 based on this spectrum. Here's a list of the cancer control rates after surgery. With a CAPRA score of 7, his 5-year cancer control rate is only 8%. Based on the Memorial Sloan Kettering nomogram, his five-year cancer control rate is 23% and his 10-year rate drops to 13%. Based on the Mayo Clinic data, the 10-year cancer control rate is 38% and based on the D'Amico intermediate risk category, it is 52% at 10 years. Here is the cancer control rate with CyberKnife. At five years, his um, PSA control is 97.1% and at 10 years, it drops to 75%. The cancer control rate after CyberKnife, hormonal therapy for four months, and pelvic lymph node irradiation is 98% at five years and 88% at 10 years. So the cancer control rate improves from 8% with surgery based on a data set from both academic and community-based urology groups to 88% with CyberKnife, external beam radiation therapy, and hormonal therapy based on a data set from a community hospital. Here's a list of things to expect after a prostatectomy. I've shown this video or this slide before and you can look at the previous videos, but essentially men develop urinary incontinence which can be permanent in 17 to 20 percent of men by 10 years. Approximately 50 to 60 percent of men will suffer from erectile dysfunction after surgery. Here's a list of things to expect after CyberKnife treatment. Also, this is included in other videos. But stereotactic radial surgery typically causes urinary bother symptoms such as urgency, frequency, or burning. It can cause fatigue. Approximately 25% of patients can have erectile dysfunction. And only about 2% of patients will have what we call grade three rectal side effects, which actually can be lower if a space OAR gel is used. What is the risk of dying from prostate cancer? It's 21% at, at 10 years with surgery or standard radiation therapy based on the star cap data set for stage 3B disease. It's 2% at 10 years with surgery at Memorial Sloan Kettering, and it's also approximately 1 to 2% at 10 years with the CyberKnife, especially if the external beam radiation therapy and androgen deprivation therapy are given. What is the retreatment rate after surgery? Up to 92% of patients will have to consider 32 to 39 radiation treatments with or without hormonal therapy when the PSA reaches 0.2 nanograms per milliliter. This is based on two randomized trials that use 0.2 as a trigger for early salvage radiation therapy. What is the retreatment rate for CyberKnife? Only 12 men will have to consider retreatment. Very few failures happen after seven years with CyberKnife. Retreatment with radiation is now an option if you've already had radiation, even if you've had the CyberKnife treatment. Hormonal therapy alone is also an option. Surgery is no longer recommended because of the side effects. The costs really depend on several factors, but should be considered, especially if there's a significant out-of-pocket cost. So to summarize, this patient has unfavorable intermediate risk prostate cancer. Surgery will miss the cancer between 75 and 90% of the time, and this is because the cancer has typically spread beyond the prostate. 
Five CyberKnife treatments will miss its cancer 25% of the time at 10 years. If CyberKnife is used as a boost to the prostate while the patient's lymph nodes are treated and four to six months of hormonal therapy are used, his cancer will only be missed 12% of the time. Surgery can lead to incontinence on average 25% of the time and erectile dysfunction 50% of the time. Most patients will need to consider 36 to 39 radiation treatments and will have to deal with the side effects of both treatments. Radiation will not cause incontinence but can lead to temporary urinary bother symptoms. Erectile dysfunction happens in approximately 25% of the men. The risk to the rectum is very low, again, especially with the space OAR gel. Only a handful of patients will have to consider second-line treatment after the CyberKnife within 10 years.